Hey guys, it's Kay. Now today we're looking at Nvidia's upgrade to the Shield TV. Now this 8.2 upgrade is available to 2017 models and 2019 models. And it looks like there's some great features that have been added and we're going to check them out in this video. Now if you don't get this message telling you to upgrade, you can go into your settings. Now I added this check for upgrade manually to my quick settings. But if you don't have this, just head on down to device preferences. And then select about. And then just select system upgrade. And finally select check upgrade. Then check upgrade again. And finally press restart to install. So one of my favourite updates is with the new Shield TV remote with the 2019 models. It adds double tap and long press actions to customise your menu button. And there's over 25 actions available. The 8.2 update delivers a big update to the 4K AI upscaler. Previously it was limited to HD 30 frames per second content. The AI upscaler can now handle anything from 360p to 1440p and bring that up to 2160p 4K Ultra HD. We're also getting 60 frames per second live sports and HD. YouTube videos are also now supported as well. Now the best is still to come too, as GeForce Now will soon add 4K 60 frames per second upscaling on Shield TV. And that will arrive on the NVIDIA Games app. Now there's also some new games, so if you're into that you're going to love it. And Rainbow Siege 6 is a particular favourite of mine. Now there's also some other enhancements, and these include the Android security patch level to June 2020, we get added SMB v3 support for a faster more secure connection to the shield over a local network, surround sound audio is restored while casting, we can grant write access to a NAS from installed apps, adds ability to convert local HDR video content to SDR displays, We've got the option to disable volume lowering when OK Google is detected on a Google Home device. And finally, we can restore Bluetooth LDAC support for supported headphones. So guys, you have to agree, that's quite an upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and click restart to install. And I'm going to speed this up. OK, it looks like I'm in the final stages of the upgrade. OK, so the system has been upgraded to 8.20. Now you will also get a message telling you that there's a Shield accessory update. Just press on details and press continue to upgrade your remote as well. So that'll upgrade your remote to version 1.12. And now you should have that customizable button. Okay guys, that was just a quick video to let you know that the upgrade is available and just confirming that it's not going to cause any issues. So guys, if you found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing as I will be doing more videos on the NVIDIA Shield. And one video I've got in the pipeline is to install an SSD to the NVIDIA Shield for more storage. Anyway guys, please give us a like and I'll see you all in the next video.